Hi, I am Gladys. Welcome to my channel. In this video, let's see what is Dayak. Dayak is a two terminal bidirectional semiconductor switch. Di stands for two and AC stands for alternating current. So, Dayak is a diode for alternating current. It belongs to thyristor family. It can be turned on in both forward and negative direction. It starts conducting current when the applied voltage is above breakover voltage. This is the symbol of diac. The symbol of diac consists of two diodes connected in parallel but opposite to one another. It has two terminals anode 1 and anode 2. MT stands for main terminal. Since it is bidirectional, the terminals are reversible like resistor and capacitor. It does not have a gate terminal. This is the construction of diac. Diac is made up of five layers and it has a two p-type layer and three n-type layer. It has no base or gate terminal. The layers which are close to the terminals are made up of both N-type and P-type. The doping concentration in all the layers is identical whereas in transistor the doping concentration is different in each layer. Since all the layers are identical, they are bidirectional and terminals can be used the either way. And about the working of diac, when the terminal MT1 is negative and MT2 is positive, the direction of the flow of current will be in the order P1, N2, P2 and N3. The junction between P1 and N2 is forward bias. The junction between N2 and P2 is reverse bias and the junction between P2 and N3 is forward biased. When the terminal NT2 is negative and MT1 is positive, the direction of flow of current is N1, P1, N2, P2. The junction between N1 and P1 is forward biased. The junction between P1 and N2 is reverse biased and the junction between N2 and P2 is forward biased. This is the VI characteristics of diac. So when the external voltage is applied at the terminals, diac does not conduct immediately. Only a small leakage current flows. So this is the off state or blocking state in both the direction that is forward and reverse bias condition. So when the applied voltage is further increased and when it crosses the breakover voltage, the junction which is reverse bias breaks and they start conducting. So this is the breakover voltage. So when the applied voltage is above the breakover voltage, it starts conducting in both the direction. So this is the on state conduction state for negative half cycle. This is the on state conduction state for positive half cycle. So till the breakover voltage is reached, they remain in forward and reverse blocking state. After the voltage, applied voltage is increased above the breakover voltage, avalanche breakdown takes place and the current increases. It happens for both the polarity of voltages. To turn off the device, the applied voltage is decreased below the breakover voltage. The advantages are, it is of low cost, it is used for low power applications, smooth control of power, diac can be switched on or off just by lowering the voltages. The disadvantages, trigger voltage is 30 volts, so the incoming voltage to trigger the diac should be minimum of 30 volt. The applications are, it is used in triac triggering circuit, used in lamp timber circuit, used in heat control circuit, used in speed control of a universal motor. 
so thank you for watching if you like the video please like share and subscribe